your mind, Sam. You said you had a question you want to ask me. Um, you were just talking about how people were complaining at the terminal about miles. Well, drivers in general, that's the big thing that it's... What I hear from a lot of people, they ask about they ask about miles and, um, you know, am I getting miles? As long as I'm willing to drive and take every load that's tossed at me, I get miles. Like, there was one load this morning we tried to accept that was going right back almost where we just came from, which this is a little broad, it's doing almost the same thing. And, uh, you know, it just, we accepted it, but because it was two hours, when they sent it to when I actually responded because we were in our tent. Um, we were somebody, sleeping. Yeah, somebody local would, took it. So it was like, whatever. But my DM fired back and even had me another load, which is going down into Virginia, almost the same way we just came up. But the neat thing is we already have a reload we grab and we're going to Iowa. So I don't know where these guys, unless you're just being really picky about what you're taking, Excuse me, breakfast food. It actually tastes like dinner. Um, <laughs> late dinner, actually, this morning would be breakfast. But anyways, <laughs> so my big thing is, is you get where these guys are complaining about lack of hours, and from what I see, as long as I'm willing to work and I've got the hours, I'm getting loads. So I don't know if it's maybe being based on your on-time status, your, uh, you know, acceptance of the loads, um, if you're a stickler for, say, doing your downtime or turning down loads, I think that all plays into what you get, whether you get runs or not. So far, I've got 100% on time. Um, even with all the issues, I've never been officially late because I've had enough leeway with the hours to still be within that window. Oh, so um, you communicate and tell them what's going on? Communication's a key word there, man. I Like, the biggest weird one I got for uh, the Walmart for the P&G drop uh, and, uh, that we did over the last couple of days, one of them was like, are you going to make it there on time? Well, yeah, because we, we got there. I had no time to stop and respond because if I would have, I would have wasted my time, driving time, and figure if you stop, you're killing at least a half hour in the truck. Right. Either driving or on duty, off duty, whatever. You stop that truck and you figure you're, you're killing at least 20 minutes to yeah, a half hour. Yeah, that was Sunday, I think, that happened. Where it's like every every few minutes, it seemed like they were trying to check in on you. You're like, I'm driving. I'm yes. not going to stop and tell you I'm driving. You can see I'm driving. If I had an issue, I would contact you. Well, that's why, like, when Debbie, Monday through Friday, when Debbie's on duty, she doesn't ask me anything. She just gives me the load and let, if there's a problem, she'll know about it during her hours. Right. You know, but to be asked if I'm going to deliver, and yet, like, I was like a half hour out from the delivery for the drop and reload. It was like, you know, I'm not going to respond because it's I'm going to be late for that. And then I had only so many hours to go from where the drop and reload was waiting to the next location, which was a live unload where you guys seen that right. picture of the truck in the woods. So we wondered if it was, we had the distinct feeling of, was this person that was on duty trying to just mess with the drivers? I don't know what you were thinking. I really didn't care. No, oh, I... I didn't respond to it because, because I don't it, give a shit. Uh, we're true, but it's like we've yeah, gotten... This is where the difference between driver who drives and passenger. I didn't give a shit because, you know what, it was already preloaded and it was on me already. I just was wondering because we've had messages like that before where people don't, like, put their initials or anything on it. And it's like, what are you talking about? Why am I going to do that? Or why am I going to do this? Why are you trying to be serious in this video? I'm not. I'm just you're, saying. I was I trying... can tell when you're thinking. You're giving these faces a... <laughs> I was I was just trying to make the point of you got to be you know cautious with what you respond to. Well, well, I guess never take a phone call from a dispatcher or a driver manager if it's questionable. I mean, tell them to put it in a, in a quail com, call com message. That's the whole point of it. It's a log. I mean, yeah, they could probably go in and you know delete it or whatnot, but always use the QC to your advantage when you're doing stuff. Um, you know. Uh, it's like I went round for round about having this back-to-back -back set of runs where it was I have to offload Sam just to go on property. I'm sorry, no. I, uh, I'd do it for the money if it was no one or no other choice, but I had a choice. I said no. I even told Debbie when she got back to work that I just don't want to do that. It's it's not that I, you know, one way or the other. It's just, you know, why when there's lots of runs out there that I know I can take, why am I going to sit there and drop Sam off, waste 
this time dropping her off, having to go back to where I came from, picking her back up, then going back to the tunnel. Yeah. We did it once because it was during the hurricanes and the, right. the storms and all that going through the Louisiana area. But that was it. One time I did it. You know, I don't like offload Sam if I don't have to. But back to the miles. Where we originally started before <laughs> Sam got all proper and I wanted to smack the cheese out of her. And by, by, by the way, boys and girls, this is going to be not edited. This is probably going to be one of those ones we'll just put it straight up. This is my little rant. This is episode 31, I think we're at. Episode 31, uh, 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 Nick, a.k.a. Zombie Hunter, or Truck and Zombie Hunter's thoughts on Miles. My biggest thing is, is like I heard from one driver when we were down with Purple getting the quail cop installed, quail cop installed. He was telling us about one guy he knew that was doing a lot of turndowns and lanes, and then his dispatcher or driver manager combo told him to take the truck to the local terminal and park it. Right. You know, paid out of shit, you're fired. Well, what do you expect when you're turning down runs? You're not doing your job. You know, if you don't communicate, you don't do your macros, you don't do your job, what do you think's going to happen? Yep. You know, it's like, I'm not going to say what other trucker out there, but there was one video of a guy out of Texas. You guys don't know who I'm talking about, that you really are shallow. And... Anyways. Don't watch enough YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, so he's whining about no loads out of Texas. Sorry, but dude, we went in and out of Texas at the same time you're bitching, and we came back through in and out of Texas and Louisiana and the whole area. I've never gone in there and had to sit long enough, longer than a 10 hour reset. So either you're turning down loads, your priorities are out of whack, or you've got freaking issues. Um, or you're not doing the job well enough that they feel confident to give you the Or you're too distracted. Yeah. You know, bonus with me, I got the cheddar bacon over here as a camera person, um, so I can be hands on the wheel at all times, you know. Um, she videos when she wants to video, I don't sit there and go, hey, video this. I mean, well, this, yeah, but... <laughs> anyway. Anyways, Miles. back to the, to the Miles. <laughs> See, we get deviated from subject here. This is, this is raw and edited fun. <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah. Anyway, so back to the Miles. Um... You get out of it what you put into it, and if you're late, or... God, it's even like one of his videos, he was there saying, Oh, man, I overslept! It's like, really? You wonder why you're not getting loads. You overslept. How the hell do you overslept on a 10 now? Either you're up till 4 in the morning, and you got a 5 a.m. delivery, and you get a nap for an hour, or you're just an idiot. You know, I mean, God, my old job. That, yeah, I can see oversleeping there, because that was some jack the You know, but now... Dude, I can sleep on five, six hours. And we're back up. We've yeah. never had a problem. So, I just don't get that. But anyways, yeah, woman trucker, y'all see to here first. <laughs> they are out there. <laughs> yeah, but the ones for Swift are usually a little bit more of my wife's size and girth. And that's as politely as I'm going to put it, because I want dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, so basically so what you you're saying. It, so you yeah. get out of it what you put into it. If you're a slacker, you're going to better you like a slacker, you know, I hate to say, how, I don't know, I didn't even really pay attention to how many truck drivers were supposed to sit there, but there was probably at least uh, 20 yeah. plus, 10 yeah. plus bobtails sitting in our yard at and the Columbus, Ohio. About a dozen people just standing around. Yeah, so. I don't know whether half of them were on a tent or a reset or what, but it just, it irks me to see, it's like, my we were in and out of there just fine. Well, yeah. my dispatcher and driver go, I don't like to sit, I don't like to be in a terminal, I don't like to be at a truck stop, the, the wheels ain't turning, this fat boy ain't hurting. And after being down and spending close to 500 bucks for four days down on the, between the truck swap, I need to work my ass off, and Sam knows it, and that's why, like, today we're going to just hammer the miles out. Yep. I'm sorry, but the most you're going to get out of this is a, is a way it stops, so yep. Sam, you better just hold it. Yep. So. <laughs> Oh, come on! What the hell?